Hello, good morning everyone. Thank you for coming to join me today. Um, I just wanted to do a flip through of the journal that I've been making with you. And this is using the papers from uh, Nicola, the paper cameo. And I've managed to finish it. Um, my printer has finally died. Uh, so that's kind of scuppers what I want to do between now and the new year. But at least I've managed to get this one finished. So yeah <laughs> sometimes things are just sent to tryers aren't they so this one i made using the kits um christmas eve cherub christmas oh there was a few of them um i will list them for you below so this one it's got a crocheted cover a crocheted mat for a cover that's got some um sari silk on but that is detachable and i've just left it plain red because i just liked the color of it um, this is kind of a grunge fabric that I had, so it's got different colours in it, but I just thought it, it went really nicely with the journal. So that's the side view of it. It's got some ruffles. Um, I think there's around 80 pages on it. And, you know, it, you could still put something on the front if you wanted to decorate it. But I just I just liked the colour of it and I didn't want to cover it in the end. So on the inside, I've put like a cream fabric that's got little spots on it. Reminded me of snow. I was going to put the netting on the front. But in the end, I decided against it because it just kept catching. It kept curling and it kept catching on the lace that I'd put here. And I just thought it was a good idea, but it just it didn't work. So I, I decided not to go with it in the end. So this is the beautiful kit Christmas Eve. And she's just a gorgeous lady, isn't she there dancing? Let me just move you over a bit. And then most of the things in this, I think we've made together. So that was the little tuck spot that we had there. I uh, just decorated a little card. I've used one of the tags behind there or one of the images, the, the heart Christmas. That flips open and it's got a tuck spot there, with some extra journaling space. And that's the cherub Christmas. And then it's got the a Christmas tag there with a Christmas tree on. This is a paper that I um, tea dyed. So it was just a pink A4 paper that I tea dyed and put some plastic um plastic mat that's what I'm trying to say over it one of Nicola's envelopes there and it says wishing you a Merry Christmas and then on the inside all that I've done is I've, inc I've included bits and peepers bits and peepers bits and pieces that I had left over that that can be cut out and used to decorate the journal a bit further if you wanted to so I'm just going to put that on there put a ruffle on there and there's always you always get these little loose threads hanging off don't you I think that one's pink divinity but that's definitely the um, Christmas Eve we did this together that was the Christmas from the Christmas heart um, and the stag where we did the three tags and of course you can write you can write on those tags or put something on them if you want to and then that's from Arab Arabella and then there's just a guest check there that I've put one of the um, bows on and I had some black spotty um, washi tape that I put on the bottom and then you can write on the back of that. And then they just close and we've got um, music paper, another beautiful paper there from the Christmas Eve kit. And then I just like these two pages together and didn't want to put anything on it. But you could put a lovely picture there, couldn't you? It would just go really well or a nice um, you could write on it or put a flip on it. So I do like to leave things so that people can decorate them as they want to. Lovely papers um, from the um, Edith Holden book, December. Christmas Eve kit and then on this page I've used the um, Nicola has corner pockets and this one was a fan so it was a corner fan and I've printed it twice and laid one on top of the other so I've cut it a bit shorter and then I've edged it with some crepe paper that my friend Carol sent to me because the pink just went really nicely it is a bit delicate um, but I thought it I just thought it looked really nice and then I've used a couple of tags that's the cut from the the one that was at the front with the cherubs on so that's from cherubs Christmas just took that behind there and then this one is from the cameo and lace and I've just put that 
in there behind that. And we've got another envelope. This is some red um, A4 paper that I had. And then in there, I've put another of the tags from the Cameo and Lace that I've backed. And that's some paper that I had left over from one of the, I think it's one of the autumn kits. If there's a particular paper that you see um, that you want to know which kit it's from, just let me know and I'll, I'll, let, I'll get back to you. And then the back of it, my lovely polka dot. I do like that polka dot, sorry. That's from, it's either Let It Snow or the Pretty Christmas kit. The mistletoe kiss is the same. And then I've done a belly band here. This is the paper from the Christmas Eve kit. And then with one of the hearts that you get, I've just put it on a piece of silver rickrack as just a little flip tag. And that's, it is kind of stitched on there so it won't come off. And then behind it again, that's one of the um, autumn kits. And then I've just made it into a tag with some extra writing space. I just thought it just looked nice, just tucked behind there. And then this one we did together, so that flips out so that you've got all this space here. And then you've got a tag there. I think that's from the Ave Maria kit. And then the Christmas um, Christmas Eve kit comes with the doilies that I've just cut out. I've not backed them or anything. I've just put them in there so that they, they can be used for lots of different ways in there. And then it pulls out all the way across there. It's just a way of extending your pages, I guess. Um, this one is printed on vellum, written on the stars, it says, and that beautiful little girl there, or lady. And then again, I've just stuck one of the ribbons on there just to decorate that page, but you can still write on it. Some more of my tea dyed papers, and then another tag. Uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head which kit that's from. It's either Let It Snow or Pretty Christmas, I think. So I took cut that little bit of thread off there. Another of the Edith Holden papers there. And then we did these. They're the girls that I did on vellum and put them between two pages. So you can see her either way. So you can see the music that side and you can see the pattern that side. I was very pleased how they turned out. More music paper. And then in the centre, I've made a... Um, and this, I haven't made an envelope. This is an envelope that comes with the kit, but I've made it open that way. Oh, these little bits, they get stuck everywhere, honestly. Um, I've made it open from the top rather than from the side. And I've put one of the doilies on there just to give it a bit of weight on there. And then inside that, we've got that card. That closes like that. And then on the back, um, I've used some more of the vellum that I had left over to make a pocket. And then on the inside, there's that beautiful girl. And again, she's just opens up and there's that writing space there. And that just slips in there like that. And we've got the music paper again. The other lady, the little girl, that's the same image that's on there. But that's the full image in there, whereas that's just her. So I've really had fun playing with these papers. Again, that one flips just there. And then we did this one together, didn't we? So that flips out that way and it flips that way. So you've got space to write and space to write. So there is lots and lots of writing space. And this one, I just love that image. Wouldn't you just like to run through there with your wellies on, of course, and gloves? Then this um, again is a pocket and that lace is actually the design on the edge of this paper. So I've printed it again and put it on as a side tuck. I think that's from Cherub's Christmas, aren't they gorgeous? So lots of space to write. And again, we've got the ribbon up there. And Christmas tree, that's from this kit, Christmas Eve. And then again, we've got one of the um, envelopes here. And this time I've decorated it. I've used one of the side tucks that comes with all the different kits. And I've put that as a pocket. And one of the um, postcards from one of the kits. And then that will actually close behind there when it's, if you didn't, you know, you could 
get your words out, Carol. You could clip it on the side of the page like that, but I've put it over the page. And then on the inside again, I've just made this one has lots of different. Um, this is the let it from let it snow, and this has just lots of different papers that I had left over that I'd been using. Some of the vellum there, and I just thought that was a good use of the leftover papers to put them together. And then, as I say, on the back you've got the cherub that hangs over that page. There we go. And then here, um, I, I think I sort of said I was thinking of doing this. So this is two of the hearts that come in the kit that I've cut out um, and I've backed them and I've put them on a piece of fabric and hung them. Um, there's little pearls, little beads at the bottom there. And it just reminded me um, in the Victorian days, they used to have pictures hanging on a wall with ribbons behind them. And it just reminded me of that. So it can lift up. That comes with one of the kits um, with one of the um, envelopes as an extra strip on the paper. So I've just tucked the paper, the fabric behind it and stitched it on. So you can write on there if you want to. But I just thought they looked really well. I was blown. <laughs> I have to say, when I did it, I was blown away with how it looks. I was so pleased how it turned out. So I added the ribbons and everything. So they're on there. Again, lots of space to write. I do love this paper. And again, this is with the Christmas Eve kit. Again, you can write on all this paper if you want to. Um, we, I did three of the postcards that come. I think this is Ave Maria. I'm probably wrong, but I can check. If anyone wants to know, I'll check. And they just flip down. But that's like a waterfall page. More of the threads coming off. This is the um, ribbon so I've printed this page twice and then I just cut the ribbon and I think we did that together and I've just used it as a pocket. And then again there, we've just got some extra writing space. And I just liked the way that the lady peeked out of that pocket there. And then we've got the envelope there. And again, I've just filled this with bits and pieces that I had left over from the different kits. So there's all sorts in there that you can use to just decorate it further. And then because it was the ribbon again, like that, I've just added, again, I did it twice. So you can see the ribbon behind it there. So I just printed it twice, cut it out and made it into a pocket. And there I've just added some extra writing space on there. And I just thought that was a, a good use of the envelope as well. And then that just clips on there. It does. Yep, there we go. Um, and then this flips up. So this is the back page that I didn't want to cover. And I think we did this together as well. So it says written in the stars. And then on there, I've just put a couple of, there's a piece of old um, typewriter. I think it's French in there that I just added. We put the Merry Christmas on it. We put the decorations at the bottom of that pocket. And I've just used a couple of the tags that I had to go in there. And then in the back, um, I've put a pocket in the back of this journal and I've just, these are full pages that I've printed two to a page. Um, and I think there was another one further back, wasn't there? So these are from the Cherub Christmas that I've just printed and they're all backed with different papers so that they can be written on as well. So that is my Christmas Eve journal. Um, I've had such fun using these kits. I really have. They're, they all just mix and match so well. Even the autumn kits go with the Christmas kits. So I hope that you like it. I liked the cover. I kept it plain and simple just because I I liked it. I hope that you like it too. Nicola, I've had such fun working with your kits. Thank you so much. And thanks everybody. And I will be back sometime in the new year. Take care all. Bye bye.